Hi, I'm Danny Boyle, and I'm here to talk about my latest film, 127 Hours, here on Hollywood Reporter. Blue John Canyon, guidebook says, four and a half hours for the big drop propel. I aim to take 45 minutes off that. So 127 Hours is the story of Aaron Ralston, this climber, very kind of capable climber and canyoneer, who one weekend is out doing what for him is a very simple weekend's kind of canyoneering. During this, he gets caught. A rock falls and traps his right hand. He's almost like he's in a handshake with someone, except it's a canyon, not another human being. And he can't move that rock. For six days he, and five nights, he tries to do everything he can to move it, and he can't. And eventually, he cuts his arm off with a, 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 um, a kind of blunt leatherman that he's got in order to get a second chance at life. Christy! Megan! Christy! It's Aaron! Well, the biggest challenge of the film was that, obviously, he is in one place for the whole of his time. Apart from the beginning, which is incredibly kind of kinetic, kind of to, to show his right of evra, you know, what he loves about his life and all the different things. Once he stopped by nature, then it was this idea we had that this was an action movie where the hero can't move. So although he couldn't move, the movie would keep moving forward. And it does that in two ways. One is that he's... He is amazingly resourceful. He never gives up. He keeps trying, even though sometimes he thinks what he's doing won't work, he keeps doing it to keep himself active. So there's a physical momentum in there with him, particularly with the cameras, with the way that we use them. But there's also an emotional journey that he goes on, where he changes as a person. Because all his skills, all his ability, that has really doesn't do it, really can't get him out of there. It's something he has to shift in his heart, really. <sighs> I always knew the amputation scene would be uh, controversial in some respects, but I didn't think it would be a problem with the public. I thought there'd be a danger that the studio would go, oh, it's too much, or, because they could also do this, they would try to make it more horrific and sell it to the horror crowd. So we followed the book very, very precisely, because obviously he's done it, and he writes about it in an amazingly gifted way in the book, and we followed that very precisely, and we edited it very much along those lines, and then we didn't change it. And no matter what people said to us about, I think you're going to alienate people. People are going to think, oh, I don't want to go to that movie. It's too powerful. It's too intense. Or we just thought, you just can't do that. You know, you've got to portray true 